this round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Perfect defense. Nice punch. Nice punch. You felt that one. You got 30. Let's go. Work with your hands. There. You're starting to fall apart. I love it. You know, we could have done a little bit better. All right, buddy. We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. Awesome. Nice control. Can't get in on you. Now that's the aggression I want to see in your next fight. Great job. Pinpoint. Here we go. Shut him down. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Nice control. Perfect. Nice work. I like it. You stayed heavy on top and controlled your sparring partner with ease. All right, you ready? I want to see good technique and form this round. Nice. Nice. We're here to work. Let's go! Here we go! Let's do some heavy bag drills. Listen for my call outs. Man, 
Your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Come on, 30 seconds left. You're following directions perfectly. Great job. Nice, nice. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Monterey, Mexico, the Nightmare. 
and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of three wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of London, England, the chosen one. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready? You ready to fight? His opponent would be wise to get the guard up here early. This man has won his last three fights, all of them by flush knockout. Each knockout more impressive than the last. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Oh, look at that. He flapped up and landed the diving punch to the head. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Oh, nice job using his hand. He's out. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to his feet. Oh, big head could land. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know. If oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag on bar here. He might get a finish here. Oh, really nice work to keep him, and this might just be a matter of time. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, the chosen one. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight.